Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I do have some great news. We do have a new web kit that has come to light. Um, it's only the proof of concept, but it has been reported to work on PS4 as well as PS5. With this proof of concept, we'll need Slurs Groby to actually turn it into something that actually works. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to give it a try. I've uploaded it to the Echo Stretch host, so we can uh, definitely give it a try. I do have a PS4 running 7.5 as well as uh, PS4 running 9. We'll try a few PS5s as well just to see. Uh, if you take a look at the code here, you can see that uh, what we're looking for it to come back as is just a 1. So we'll get a white screen with a number 1, and if that comes back, it, uh, it'll work. I will leave a link in the description for this bug. You can go ahead and check it out for yourself. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump onto our, P our first PS4, which is the 7.55. Okay, so now that we're over to our first PS5, it's running 7.55. I'm going to do settings. Jump down to system and system information. And you can see that I am on 7.55. Let's go ahead and back out of there. And we'll go ahead and launch our browser, but just close that out. Um, I do have a bookmark, so we'll go to the Echo Stretch redirect site. And then from there, we'll just go ahead and hit our triangle and circle and jump over here and put it test.html. Go ahead and hit our two. Okay, so you can see that we do get a white screen. Uh, nothing actually comes up here in the top left hand corner. So we should see a number one here, but uh, currently we don't. So this web kit does not work for 7.55. Now we're going to go up to the PS4 running 9.00, but it has been reported that uh, PS4 is running the eight firmwares. They do work. So certainly leave a comment down below if you do give this a try and uh, you're running 8.00 or whichever firmware in the eights, let me know. But uh, let's go ahead and jump over to the PS4 running 9.00. Okay, so now we're over to 9.00. We jump over to settings, jump down to system, system information. You can see I'm running 9.00. So we'll back out of there, open up our browser, and I've already got a bookmark, so we'll jump into our bookmarks. Go ahead and click on the Echo Stretch Host, hit our triangle, and just jump over here, type in test. .html, and there you go, there is our one. Right up the top left hand corner, that's what we're looking for. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the PS5. Um, this has been tested on PS4s right up to 10.01 and it does display the one. Make sure you go ahead, if you do have a higher firmware, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, definitely don't update if you do expect to uh, see anything in the future. Stay on that current firmware. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump over to the PS5s now. Okay, so now we're over to our PS5. We'll go into our settings, go down to our system, system software and console information. And you can see right there after the 2101, we are running firmware 3.00. It has been reported that it ha does work down to 2.50. You can definitely let me know in the comments below. But yeah, let's go ahead and launch our browser. And I already have the site in my history here, echostretch.site slash test.html. Go ahead and launch it. And as you can see up in the top left hand corner, it does display the one. So we know that we are good for the WebKit on this version. So let's go ahead and jump over to our next PS5, which is the 4.03. Okay, so now that we're over to our second PS5, we'll jump over to our settings, go into system, system software and console information. And you can see after the 2102 that I am running version 4.03. So we'll go ahead and back in there. And we'll go ahead and launch our browser. Okay, and once it does open up, I already have the host in my history here. So we'll go ahead and select it. And as you can see on 4.03, we do get the number one displayed. So we are good for the WebKit on this one as well. 
Let's go ahead and jump over to our next PS5. Okay, so now that we're over to our next PS5, we'll jump over to our settings, go into our system, system software and console information, and you can see after the 2202, we are running version 6.02. So we'll back out of there. This one's going to be a little different. Uh, we'll need to uh, add in Alizif's DNSs. So if we go into network, go into our settings, go to set up internet connection, go ahead and click options on your host and then click advanced settings. We'll jump down and as you can see, I do have Alizif's DNS is already in, so we are good to go there. So we'll back out of there. And we'll go up to our user guide. Go ahead and select user guide. If we get prompt for a security warning, just say yes to it. And once Alizif's host does load up, just hit L2 twice. And then from there, we'll go ahead and type in the echo stretch host. So echo stretch seven and one dot site. And then it's forward slash test dot HTML. Go ahead and hit submit. And as you can see, we do get the number one displayed on 602 as well. So let's go ahead and jump over to our next PS5, which will be running the latest firmware, which is 6.50. Okay, so now that we're over to our fourth PS5, we'll jump over to our settings, go into our system, system software and console information, and after the 2202, you can see that I am running the latest firmware at this time, which is 6.50. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. And like before, we'll need Alizif's DNSs in. And once we do have them in, we'll go into our user guide, select user guide, and go to user guide. Go ahead and say yes to the security warning. And once it loads up, we'll hit L2 twice. And we'll go ahead and type in the echo stretch host. Echo stretch ES seven and one dot site. Oh, dot site. Forward slash test dot HTML. Go ahead and hit submit. And there you go. On the latest firmware on the PS5, we do have a one display in. So we do know that the WebKit works for the latest firmware on PS5 at the current time of this video. Okay, so just a quick recap here. Um, on the PS4, we tried 7.55 with no luck. It has been reported that 8.00 works. So we can say that 8.00 and up works uh, straight up to 10.01. Um, that has been reported to work as well. Um, for the PS5, we tested 3.00, 4.03, 6.02, and the latest, which is 6.50. Um, it has been reported that 2.5 works as well. So pretty much we can guess that uh, all the PS5 firmwares will work from 2.5 straight up to the latest firmware, which is 6.50. Certainly give them a test. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're running a different firmware and if it does work just so, uh, so we'll have an idea which one works. Um, this is only a proof of concept by Mandy. Um, it's definitely got to go through Slurs Groby, which will turn it into something that actually works for us. But yeah, that's basically it for the video. Um, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.